this was a good episode. Starting mm-hmm. off is, of course, our gang of interesting hosts. Start off with Charles. How's he going, man? Doing pretty good, and holy mother of crap was this episode good. Uh, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. It's like, all right, yeah, he's a host. Okay, that's uh, all well and good. Easy now. I know. I know the excellent. Let's move uh, over. Let's, let's move over to uh, Lou Rod. How's it going, Lou? I'm doing well, but he was already. We've known he's been a host for two weeks now. Yeah, I know. Well, I know. No, that's not what I'm talking about. He was. He was. He was. He was, a, he was about to just just roll on. All right, so this episode had a lot of things. Now, the one thing I am still a, a little bit confused on is this episode hinted or basically almost showed that the man in black is William, but at the end, she meets the man in black. So it can't be William, right? But that's the picture that we saw Dolores find a while back. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed that too. The picture that they revealed was the same picture that uh, uh, Dolores's dad, uh, Dolores's dad, found at the at the ranch. Yeah, the, the ranch. Same photo. It's the same only photo. The, only the photo he found was aged and was uh, messed up. Looked like it may have seen some years. Yes, exactly. So uh, that's really messing up with. God damn it! it! It's the same thing as that episode of Star Trek where the guy said, "I hate temporal mechanics." Uh, yeah, so so that's that's the confusing part. What do you think, Lou? I'm confused. <sighs> we'll we'll find out next week. Well, I was watching this and watching Walking Dead at the same time. Really? Oh, uh, multitasker. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm trying to see if Walking Dead is still worth the interest. I, I can answer I that for you. It isn't. Well, for you, and it is getting there for me, but you know. Anyway, back our to back to Westworld, my friend. We're not talking about Walking Dead. Westworld, come on. So, the picture back in the day, what was it? Episode two, or maybe two three, or three, was the picture of William's soon-to-be wife. Yes. Correct? Yeah. Okay, so what if the brother? Dropped it. It blew to their ranch. No, and being it, on the no, dirt, no, on the dirt, it no, made it age. It, Come on, but, I'm not gonna buy that. William is the man in black. It doesn't. It, does, right. it doesn't. It doesn't jive because her dad's already dead and she's left because her dad's dead. So that's where the disconnect is because he shows the picture briefly. Of course, they like to do this quick looks. We see. We know the photo is. Uh, the photo the um, Dolores' father found. So which means that Dolores is in current timeline, or is she not? I hate temporal mechanics. <sighs> now, but 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 it's still because to me the man in black is somebody else. We 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 know more about the man in black. He's one of the board members, which is why, of course, nobody disturbs him whenever he yeah, does he's his an thing. Owner. Yeah. Um, but I did like the Arnold reveal oh, of this episode. See, it can make sense if the man in black is William for the simple fact he married to a rich family. It doesn't. I know. That's not the issue, whether he married or not. It's the time. Yeah, we can, he can marry to the family all, for all we care. It's the timeline. There is a oh, disconnect in the timeline. Okay, how about this one? How about the man in black? We've seen he has a rough, you know, a, a dark side to him. But we finally seen that dark side to William when he butchered all those hosts. I, I agree, but there is still a time. There's still a time fracture okay, here. There's a time fracture. The time fracture is going to be that William was probably 40 years younger than what he is now. And he's just maybe reminiscing and that's why we're seeing two different distinctions of what's going really on but in reality it's just one timeline okay maybe maybe the man in black william is reminiscing on how he fell in love with dolores yeah so 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 what you're saying is is that all the scenes that we got of william and uh his uh friend i don't remember logan 
where uh, those are just memories. Those of are the man of the man in black memories. Okay, yeah, that that's could, what those that are. Okay, all right, that that I buy. That I that I, I can definitely buy. But I will say uh, Arnold's reveal was just as sweet. I mean, at some point I knew it was Arnold, but then it was still like you couldn't finish this without making it's almost like ford could not continue building the park without having arnold around so arnold's bernard yeah arnold's bernard well well whoa, whoa, bernard whoa, whoa, whoa. Has the appear yeah sorry go ahead charles bernard has the appearance of arnold but he is not arnold himself yeah remember when denora says uh i can't help you because I i'm dead and she yeah killed she killed yeah. him. Yeah, that, so that's what happened. That's how Arnold died. Although, uh, I got a theory about that. What if she killed him because Arnold asked her to? I it don't was think... All, all, it was all part of his plan to have his mind transferred, his consciousness transferred into a machine's body. Like, maybe he is hijacking or at least piggybacking off of Dolores' own consciousness. He's inside her. Okay, that came out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean that that could be the case. It could be the case where he is actually he had downloaded his memories into her, and he's you know speaking back into that into her mind. Because so far we've only heard his voice inside inside of Dolores in, in her head in, in Dolores's head. Yes, in Dolores's um, head. Yeah, that's the only place we've heard of that. But what's interesting is is. Is also if you think about it, Maeve, <clears throat> Maeve is is sentient without yeah. control. And the only person who can stop her is um, Ford. 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 Man, you Ford. think so? Yes. Ford. Remember, Ford said is a back door to everyone. Man, I don't know because boy, I don't know it, it, either one of you watched the preview, but it's about to go down next week. No, it will go oh, down. I, but I, I, I don't watch the preview because I like to go into each episode blind. But but Ford has remember when um, Bernard said the reason why he picked her to hold the gun is that she was wiped clean, like completely fried. And he's like, "How you still can control?" It's like, "Yeah, you created the back door for every host, including yourself." So Ford has full control. But how? I mean, it's like, dude, does he have the magic eyes? No, it's the words. He says, no, no piano can play without a master. I mean, there's certain cues. And you see she stopped right there. That was it. It's not freeze motor control or stuff like that. There's certain key words that he can use. That machine stopped. Speaking of which, uh, of the whole uh, words that they use, like freeze motion controls and all that that are not working, what about the security guy getting captured by those Ghost Nation Indians? We'll see what happens with that. That's completely yeah. out of out of out of you know left field there. Um, so I mean we, we we don't know. There's also Maeve. Maeve is of course starting her rebellion in the park. You know yeah. she's, she's going to try and up uh, her fellow machines and pick out the dead ones. You know and Felix, I, come on Felix. Like, I don't get it. I don't get how Felix cannot say no or stop her. Like, I still don't understand. Felix is scared, dude. He saw what she did last week to his... I'm not going to say his homeboy, but his... His co-worker. His dingbat of a co-worker. And he, he's just like, okay, I can't say no to her because if I say no to her, she going to do something to me vicious. Mm -hmm. Well... Wow. Before he could have said no way early on when she couldn't when she didn't have the ability to, to harm them, but now that she does, oh, he's screwed now. But he had perfect opportunity to do it before they changed her code. But now, now they're now as the saying goes, he dug his hole. Now he needs to go lie in it. Exactly. Um, pretty much, yeah. he's pretty much just put himself in in just a whole bend there. But I mean, I don't know, like you know. To me, the way it's ending, the way it's going, you know, we saw Teddy get killed because uh, the other blonde lady is like, you're not ready yet. Because Teddy, again, like you said, James Master just always gets the raw end of the deal in every every show. Maybe hopefully in season two, he gets like a more prominent position. But that's even if he gets brought back for season two. 
I think he will. I think he will. Because he's the least uh, used out of all the main characters in the show. Only, you know, he, only when he came back with, uh, what's his name, uh, the man in black, who was, was still the least used out of, out of everyone. Uh, what else did you find interesting in the episode? Oh, let's see. Uh, we talked about that. Uh, oh, um, this was more of a Bernard-centric episode. Yeah, it was actually because a lot of a lot of the episode was focusing on Bernard and Ford and Bernard's experience in his memories and all that. And I, uh, like this, like we said before, the reveal of him being basically the host copy of Arnold. I was in shock when I saw that. I was like, I was like, huh? What's going? Oh, oh, hell no! Oh, they're doing it! Oh my God, yes! Ah, I, I was getting so excited. I was getting so excited because of it. It was shut up, Lou. Stop making that face. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I don't know. Just I thought I thought the whole Bernard, uh, Bernard Arnold reveal was awesome. However, the question is, um, at the end of the episode, when we see Bernard kill himself, well, kill, kill himself. Kill himself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's pretty obvious that he's coming back, but do you think that Arnold, the, Arnold's consciousness is going to get thrown into Bernard's body and that it'll come like full circle? I don't even think Arnold's consciousness is going to be dealt with the end of the season. I don't think so. I think, I think you have a case where, because that would just be too much for even the season ender. Right now you have uh, Maeve leading an attack, right? Mm -hmm. um, you have the board trying to kick out Ford. You have Dolores and the Man in Black trying to settle things there, and then you want to. Th and then Bernard, most likely not dead. They may not show it, or he might be next season, or Maeve might actually come with uh, what's his name to save him because maybe he didn't shoot himself in the head, but he just managed to push himself back just enough where he grazed himself. And then so he might be yeah, sentient. And, then, and Felix is there, and he is sentient. It's just that. He, he doesn't have control of himself. Okay. You know? That's a, well, that's a theory for I you. don't think that we're going to see Bernard again at all during the rest of the season. It, it would be uh, – what's the, what's the word? Um, it would be too much uh, in, in the season finale because next week's episode is the season finale. So leave Bernard out of it. Save that stuff for season two. Um, Maeve and uh, Hector, I think was his name uh, – the the two of them, uh, we might see them like like maybe attack somebody in hell, as Maeve put it. I don't know, uh, William. I doubt we're going to see. Oh, uh, it's pretty obvious we're going to see uh, the Man in Black and Dolores. I, I see. Spot says, "Does the Man in Black have a scar hidden under his sideburns?" It seems to me there's something there, but it couldn't be. Tell me, it's Logan. Maybe it's actually Logan the whole time. Maybe uh, I don't know. I, I I think that would be. Nah. It, it, I think a lot. Of, if it turned, if the Man in Black turned out to be Logan, it would be a massive disappointment. I mean, there was so much anticipation for him being William. I, I mean, I, I hope I, I, that he's I not don't William. Want, I don't even want him to be William. I don't care. I don't care about him I, being William. I, I, what I, what I'm hoping for is that it's just two separate experiences happening within the same time period. It's not alternate timelines. It's not. It's all happening in the same present day but uh, i don't know just I, I at this point i don't know and we're probably not going to find out i mean if they reveal it next week i'll be happy either way because i'm going to be i'm pretty much done with trying to figure out what the hell is going on <laughs> you know what so all what you're saying charles i think next season is going to lead to another portion of this part Maeve has built her rebellion, and their rebellion, her rebellion, they're going to think they're in the outside world, but it, they might end up being in, let's say, Rome or another part of this park. Well, we that's where they're going to end up. We still haven't seen everything this park has to offer, but we have seen that whole holographic like model thing, so we know how big it is. It's pretty big, but, but you heard Ford. I believe he said there's really no world outside. If I remember correctly. Yeah, he said that. That's, remember when I said the, the, they're not on this planet? 
Like literally, I feel like everybody, uh, humans are not there or it's just a different planet or something else, but it's not oh. what it seems. I think, oh, no. yeah, so if it's on a different planet, that's just going to be stupid. Oh, that's no. going to, that's going to be so stupid because it doesn't fit. I mean, it, it does not fit at all. I mean, it's like, oh, they just, because why, I, why, make, why, make, why doesn't it fit? Putting so putting something like that into the narrative of the show creates a whole slew of new plot lines that's just going to overcrowd that, no, the, but that, the entire that, narrative. No, you can use that as a season finale, a series finale. You can use it in the last season, whatever you want to do. But not, I mean, you don't have to use it now, but I'm just saying that if you think about it this way, remember, the way Ford described human beings now is that we have reached the pinnacle. And doesn't mean we have to be on Earth to reach the pinnacle. They could be point. on the moon for all we They could be anywhere. It just means that we reach the pinnacle and people don't have the same things that they've always wanted. Like, you know, just that same realization of, of real life like we have. So maybe that's why Westworld and all these worlds are created in a sense. And maybe Westworld is just the most advanced one compared to the others but again that's that's something that may or may not be there to me that's a nice way well, to end a, a series not like you know end of season one or two no i mean come on it make no, no sense. Uh, yeah. what dude i think this show has done something that most shows don't do they they know that they have a five-year plan well five season plan <laughs> excuse me kazute thank you and they're building the world out for five seasons in a smart way they're planting little seeds that are going to lead into season two. And then watch season two plant another seed for season three. This show is going to keep getting built. It's going to keep getting seasons. It's, it's become good. People love it. So HBO, they're going to be like, okay, you guys want to go past the fifth year? Come on, come on, come on. They're going to egg them on. You know it. And that's why they're going to do this Look, that, uh, <laughs> that is another reason why I don't like shows that do that. I mean, Supernatural is a perfect example of that. Supernatural a, a, was a... A, 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 a. What? Supernatural what? is still fun. It's a fun it's show. Still, it's still fun, but it is nowhere near as good as the first five seasons. Yeah, I mean... Nowhere that, near as good. I, actually, no, I'm sorry. I disagree. It got better in season four five through seven when they introduced god and angels that's when the show got no back. no no angels were introduced in season four okay four five six okay okay that's nice that's nice back to westworld okay, yes, back but to no westworld. What, what i'm talking about is what the, the whole point of me saying is that supernatural was originally intended to be a five season show and they kept the show going because of its popularity and also because they could make money off of it and i understand you got to make money off of it because it's popular and people want to watch it but you have to stick to the plan. If it is intended to be a five-season show, stick to five seasons. Not necessarily, though. You don't always have to stick to the plan. You just have to know when to end. And sometimes, like in Supernatural's case, those extra two, three seasons find a good, and then you find an ending. But when money's involved, come on. Look, you can say all that you want. If you start a show that's five seasons, and then, and then Warner Brothers, wherever goes, you know what, Charles? Here's an extra four million dollars. We want an extra season. You will come up with something. Probably. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's look at. So, um, Icy Spot says, "Did Ford lure Stubbs to the outside to be attacked by the Ghost Indians? Maybe, uh, because of course that could be something he might have set up." Uh, and then he says, "Oh, no, that's the interesting one there because from him all episode that brief skin in the world." 3D hologram, then he comes up, makes the call, but it's spotty service. Since when do they have spotty service in that park? Only in that, only in that area. That's you know, remember that area where the the house of his own parents were. That's I the think that's where has Ford been. has built some instant jammers. Yes, exactly. That's the only area where he has a spotty signal. Uh, um, I see spot says no, not not on a planet. It's a satellite off Earth. Like uh, a huge Death Star. <laughs> That's okay, so basically, they're on a Gundam on a Gundam colony. Exactly, pretty much. Um, <laughs> Bradley Lutcher said, "Ford is like a god. He's in control of it, and he will let the host believe that they have a sense of control when they really don't. It will all play out uh, how he wants." 
I mean, right now, Ford is holding all the keys. He's holding all the keys. Because, and... dude, we have Trisha Thompson's character who wants Ford out. She went to the man in black like, yo, I need your vote. But little do they know, they got – she's causing ruckus. Ford's got a mutiny on his hands with toast that he doesn't – either he knows about it or he's just pretending about that he doesn't know. And then he's just going to shut them all down when he wants. Or that's part of his diabolical his plan. And that might be part of his narrative the whole time. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I have a feeling that just it's setting up to go somewhere else next season and not stay in the West, but maybe move to Rome or whatever they did in those other two movies. That no, no, created. I don't think I don't think he's going to move to another world yet. I think what is going to happen is that um, I think f whether uh, Maeve is sentient or not, Ford will play that into his narrative. And the board won't go, won't, because we know the Man in Black is coming next season. He's already signed up for the second season. So somehow the Man in Black is not going to get his fulfillment. Oh, no, because the Man in Black is not going to have to go stop Ford. He's, he's, he's going to, the, the board, the board's all going to come together and they're going to be like, dude, we need your help. You're the most skilled person on this thing because you've been here so much. We need you to go track down Ford and stop Ford. I mean, it, it could be a bunch of things, but there's so many things that could happen. The way the way the show is set up, there's so many things that can go happen. Which is one of the best things about the show is that it has this very multi-complex level of you know different storylines, different paths, and they all could just lead to the same place at the end of the day. Uh, it looks like the Man in Black uh, and Maeve storylines will be the threat to four. Dolores' loop of Maeve's quest appears to be going nowhere. That's what it seems. I think we're going to see something from that next year. I think she found the center of the maze. She fulfilled the maze. She went to the lower levels of that church, to that same room that we saw her in before, talking to Ford. Not Ford, Bernard, you mean? No. She was also in that same room, talking to Ford a few episodes back. Really? Before she started her quest, she, Ford was talking to her in a room, but it wasn't that room. It wasn't that room. It was that room. No, it wasn't that room. It wasn't that room. It was that room. No, it, was no, it, wasn't. That, it was not that no, room. It was. It was. No, it was not, Lou. I remember I have that a it's photogenic memory. Bullshit. It was that room. We don't, we don't trust your memory, whatever, man. <laughs> I, got, I got a spotty memory as it is, and you I see, can still, even I see I spot says it. Agreed. Looks like she found that spot before, maybe many times. She has been in that room, and she talked to Ford in that room. It wasn't the same room, dude. <laughs> it was that room. I mean, we'll, we'll Ford see. Has, dude, you know what? I'm, I'm Ford, dropping it. Move I guarantee on. you, Ford has many different locations to talk to different people so he can keep all his diabolical plans <laughs> hidden from the rest of the crew. Yes, yes. He's like hiding in these dark, dank rooms going like, yes, excellent. Dude, one of the rooms was underneath his parents' home that he created. Yeah. The other room he has is his office in the main building. Mm -hmm. Then he has this room down there as well. But Bernard also used it. Yeah, I remember Bernard. So she's when, been Yeah, when Bernard was talking to Ford earlier, used one of those rooms. So it has to be that oh. room. She's been there. So has Bernard. Okay, well, it gives me an opportunity to go back and watch the episode because, well, I love the show and I'd like to watch it again. So I'll. Well, don't worry. We're gonna do the whole season recap, so you're gonna have to watch it again. Oh, to, to keep no. yourself fresh. Yeah. No. Yeah. Please. No. Yeah. 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 No, it's definitely an interesting episode. Uh, can't wait to see what happens next season. But uh, anything else before we round up? Um, this this episode was more straightforward than the last one, so. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say there was. I would say there's much in my end. Anything else? I do have a question though. Mm -hmm. In the flashbacks that Teddy has about that that time when he and supposedly Wyatt had killed all those villagers, and then it was revealed that Teddy did the killing and Wyatt wasn't even there. Do we know who what Wyatt looks like, or does, has he still have yet to be revealed? No, we have no idea what Wyatt looks like. Well, we only know that, what Wyatt looks like in the past. 
We well, only no, no, really know what Wyatt looks like according to Teddy's memory, his yeah. false memory. So yeah, we don't know term, what he actually that, looks like. That memory was proven to be false in this episode, and so we now don't. For all we know, Wyatt could be a go- could be a goat that talks with Morgan Freeman's voice. For all we know. Yeah, could be. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> I like Bradley's comment. And Ford led Bernard to believe he was in charge all the time. Yeah, that's that's Ford for you, man. He, he, he Diabolical, just, dude. That man is sick in the head. He'll make you ride along, you know? He'll make you ride I along. Think, I think uh, Ford has a God complex with all, oh. everything that he's been doing with uh, with the hosts and everything. He he feels like, oh, I have created life, therefore I am God. And dude, so, but you think about it. Let's that park has probably been open for 50, 60 years. I mean, we've yeah. seen the one, the one image of Esther, uh, Anthony Hopkins looking like he was in his early 30s walking down the hall. And he was that saying, Arnold, have, Arnold. If that was me, I would have a God complex. Yeah. Basically, I control everything in this park. At a, at a moment's whim, I can destroy it and rebuild it. Mm-hmm. He's a force of nature in that park. And they couldn't have picked a better actor for the role because Anthony Hopkins is awesome. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting my reminders of uh, the Hannibal Lecter days when he yeah. did it. Yeah, he, he's, yeah. He's, 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 he's like Hannibal Lights in this. I call it Hannibal yeah. Lights. The, o- the, only, the only difference is that he doesn't eat people. Yes. No, he just creates them. He just creates them and then wipes them memory whenever he feels like it. In yeah. milk, in, in a milk bath, <sighs> that uh, building people out of milk—that's just. <laughs> hey, they always said it does the body good. <laughs> good lord! All right, guys. Anything else before we wrap up? Nope, I got nothing. Yeah. Um, all right. Cool. That's it, guys. That is Westworld episode nine, the well-tempered cleaver. Um, a solid episode all the way through. I can't wait for the finale. I think uh, the show has lived up to its expectation uh, in terms of story elements. Uh, the last episode will be directed by... Um, now I just forgot his name. Why do I keep doing this, man? Uh, uh, Christopher Nolan's brother. Whatever his, Jonathan Nolan? Jonathan Nolan will be directing yeah, the last, uh, last episode. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see his directing chops and also the story. I think he's, he's, ri- he's writing and directing. That last storyline is his, and also he's directing the episode. So, she means well, I mean, to, to what I see, Spot says all the actors on this show have been great. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you got a stellar cast all the way. Through. I mean, dude, even Cyclops was good. Oh yeah, no, everyone, no, everyone was good. Even down, like I said, down to Felix. And you know his numb nuts uh, coworker. That's what they were supposed to do. That's that's <laughs> their their characters, and they they played everything to the T. You know, ev- everyone, every person playing a host, freezing in points. I think uh, and all that. To me, the weakest character was the bandit, but I think we're going to see some of where he really is. Like his character, I think, is saved for season two. I think there's more to his character, his own backstory or, or whatever it is that, that we'll see in season two that will make him more of a bandit and less of that play. Because he's like a play bandit in this one, in, this, in season one. He's like, uh, I'm just going to always rub, rub and you know, get that safe and all I that. Mean, so. To freeze on a, on a, on a dime, that you got to, I wonder how many t- takes it took. Because hey. just to hear keywords and you're like, or the one dude who kept pouring their wine. Yeah. No, this is a very good show all the way. I agree with you guys. The finale is going to be spectacular. So stay tuned next week for the finale of Westworld. Uh, we'll be here at 1030 as oh, always. I kind of wish it would be a 90-minute finale. Uh, I wish too, but uh, HBO usually doesn't do that. They usually Well, they did an hour and 45 minute for the night of. Yeah, the night of was a little different because the night of is kind of like a one-off story. Well, it's an anthology. That's what that was built as. Yeah, so it's not it's not going to be something that, you know, like Westworld where you, I mean, you can do 90 minutes, but 
they will they will finish it and then we move to season two. So. Yeah, maybe they could teach the Walking Dead a thing or two. Anyway, guys, Walking Dead tomorrow that would be around uh, we keep one p.m. Huh? one p.m. sounds good. One thirty p.m. Even better. Yes, tomorrow. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel. 